Hello and welcome back to the. <coughs> Pardon me. Hello and welcome back to Autumn. My name is Beast, and I am back with uh, Skyfall of Stars. Today we'll probably be finishing the the sort of route. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing. Also, there is a potential for the Sunday uh, co-host video to be a bit longer than usual. Only potentially it depends on the other two because I actually got more time since I took Monday off. Since I plan on taking off one day a week until I'm done with my seminars. Since I currently have three... Uh, I currently still have five. Or since I used one on Monday, now four uh, vacation days. And by the end of the month, I will get like 2.5 more vacation days. So if I still have like a 0.5 vacation day, I will get three... If not, I'll get two additional ones. And then at the start of the September, I'll get like another 2.5. And I'm only be gonna be there until September 17th. 17th, I think, being the last one, my last day. So, uh, and basically, they bas want, really want you to like use up all your holidays until then. So I'm just like, probably gonna be doing that, potentially every Monday or every Wednesday, I don't know yet. Depends on how I feel about it, I guess, but yeah. Anyway, so that's the, th that's the idea behind this, that's all I wanted to say, so uh... Let's get shit face. I say that, but this is not that much alcohol, so it's not like this is gonna, like, do anything. I really need to clean up. Oh well, anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to talk about today, and uh, now, time to finish this. Let's put that here, put that here, put that here, and get going. Uh, please repeat yourself, Corona. Sure looks like it. Anyways.今夜は新月ですし、最高の感冒日和ですね。雨に洗い流されて空も綺麗っす。天が味方してくれてますね、これは。光さん。え？あ、うん。しっかりしてよ、ピカリン。ピカリンがこのプロジェクトのリーダー
so there were still puddles of water around. Apparently. Smiru walked while using a stick to weed through the grass. You would never be able to find it if that happened. Kigari had said the same thing to me. I find it somehow. I shook my head. Already checked, but they didn't have it. Kari was looking at me like she had something she wanted to say. I can't do that. If I did, then she'd forever lose that lost item. Can't let that happen. I need to find it. Need to help. You don't need to help me anymore, Miss Miru. Why don't you go and check in with them? Looking disappointed, Miss Miru searched in the grass with her flashlight. Seeing her so serious made me sigh. A teacher looking for their student's lost item is an amazing teacher, you know. She sullenly whispered. Saw as nighttime sketches. She went back to being our old teacher after seeing five years worth of emotions and observation journals. I quieted it down and thought. It might be more important to me than to Saya. Yes. Miss Miyaru looked confused as she talked to Kotaro. Kotaro, Hey! Kotaro had joined me for the last few days of searching, but we still hadn't found, hadn't had any success. I was starting to think that it probably wasn't here. I'm sure he wouldn't miss his beloved Saya's smell anywhere. It's already time. I'm going to meet their advisor there tonight. She looked even more displeased than when I... than when I leave her to man the store. That's not true. We only got Harbor Town to help uh, us because of you, Miss Miyaru. But we wouldn't have gone to the last step without you. I'll handle this by myself. With that said, she had left her stick there. Please take Kotaro home with you. The smell will be washed away in this rain. Thank you, Kotaro. I petted his head and Kotaro gave a small whimper like he was apologizing. Kotaro is best boy. D -d -don't, don't make Kotaro feel bad. Don't make him feel sad. Don't make him feel like he's useless. He's a good boy. He's the best boy. And he's good at what he does. <laughs> Miss Miru grabbed his leash and took him home. Leaving him, uh, watching them leave, I looked up to the night sky. I can already see falling stars. It's possible to see falling stars anywhere without even looking for them during a meteor shower. I made a, w made a wish on one of them. Please don't let me lose her memories. I then started walking in the opposite direction. I was toying with an old pair of sunglasses. They were cheap, but I used to wear them outside all the time when I was younger. When I tried them on just now, I was shocked to find they didn't suit me at all. I got embarrassed thinking about it. I believe in them, after all. Oh, Earlier this evening, I got a text from Ikari. That's <laughs> あたしたちこれからイベントの準備でハーバータウンに行かなくちゃいけない。本当は私もあいつを手伝ってあげたいんだけど、どうする？もう諦めた方がいいんじゃない？ありがとう。心配してくれて。
でも大丈夫だよ光は光のするべきことに専念してそうや私の方こそごめんね外出禁止で全然手伝えなくて何言ってんのよあんたがネットのことをやってくれるからイベントに専念できるって吉岡ちゃん言ってたよこっちは絶対成功させるからねうん楽しみにしてる明るい夜のために明るい夜のためにこの場所で毎晩のように星を数えていましたあの頃の夜空は今よりずっと明るかった無数の星が雄大な夜空のスクリーンにひしめくように瞬いていて星明かりが闇夜を照らしているようでした一つ一つの星たちは小さな小さな光です目が闇に慣れていなければ見えないようなでもそんな小さな光が無数に集まればこんなにも明るい夜空になる子供心に不思議に感じ私たちは星の世界に引き込まれていきましたけれど私が夜空を見上げるのを忘れているうちにいくつもの星が姿を消していました地上に明かりが一つともると夜空の星が一つ消えてしまうのです No one noticed them disappearing. Like a fading memory, the night sky grew dark and lifeless. Wouldn't you like to see that? The night of the grey meteor shower, and the starry sky, the sky colored by countless little lights. A bright night like the old days. Yes, I'd like to see that. I'd thought that for the past five years, as I did my sketches of the stars. But that was all I did, counting every night how many stars we'd lost. <laughs> 自分から動き出せるんだもん。Even when the goal was nearly impossible, Hikari was the first friend I ever had. She had so many great, so many things I lacked. Wanted so badly to be more like her. Was that that Hikari who managed to get Aki to look at the night sky again? If I hadn't told Hikari about my feelings for Aki, what would have happened? I wonder. Not only had I damaged their friendship, I was probably in the way of Hikari's love for Aki, too. By God, she. Jesus Christ, by God, she's bad. <laughs> It's like she is very bad with that. Like, I fucked up again. Like, from the time that Aki and. From the time Aki and I started going out, I had asked myself that question over and over again. My heart just kept sinking. Poisoned by negative thought, I was worried that I was turning into a horrible person. In the end, I had said terrible things to Ikari and had worried my mother and everyone else by running away from home. By the way, uh. Did you like the Bon Jovi reference in last part's title? Don't worry, it physically hurt writing that out. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm what, what I was referencing there, it's a Bon Jovi song by the title of、uh, Runaway. And the ref refrain, if I remember correctly, is basically, Ooh, she's a little runaway. Daddy's girl learned fast all the things he couldn't say. Ooh, she's a little runaway. So, yeah, that's why, uh, Since I didn't want to actually reference the fact that she ran away from home in the title, I couldn't use Runaway. So I just had to go with the second best thing because I was determined to make a Bon Jovi reference at that point. And sadly, that Bon Jovi, that, that like, next best thing was using Daddy's Girl.、Mm, it physically hurts saying that. Like, I don't. 
have a problem singing it. Because, you know, it's part of a song. It's not exactly I can do something I can do with anything about. So, yeah, anyways. <laughs> Buried my head in my arms on the desk. It's on the desk, isn't it? If he was looking for it, I had to stop him. Every time I went, was starting soon, and he was going to miss it because of me. I picked up my phone and stared at the screen. I'll send him, him a message. No, that wouldn't convince him to stop. I'd better call and talk to him directly. But what end? <laughs> So he just kicks up the door, kicks down the door. Oh, too fucking bad! I adore that. He's <laughs> my vision blurred when I thought about it. I was a selfish person. I realized. Wiping away my tears, I have to see the time displayed on my phone. I stood up and turned the lights. I turned off the lights in my room. Then I went to the window and looked at I looked at the houses nearby. There weren't that many windows to begin with, but they were all dark. Either no one was in, or... I looked at the clock one more time. The event was starting in 40 minutes or so. I Shuff, shuff, uh, stuffing my phone in my, to my pocket, I quickly got ready to head out. <laughs> Once known as Mikazuki's castle that never sleeps, the stop by was actually closed at this hour. And I hadn't been to the store since I cooped myself up at home, so I never got to see Koti. Koti didn't look or sound very happy. His behavior was almost apologetic. Yes, yes. So you John. At the sudden appearance of Miss Miyaru, properly dressed like a teacher, my back straightened automatically. The thing is, she if she like got her shit back together and started as a teacher again, she probably would be a bit better at it. Because she very much seems to have learned to not worry as much. If that's the right thing to say. Like, I feel like she wouldn't get quite as stressed anymore. She would still get stressed and she would probably still want to quit like in, in a, within a week's time, but still. <laughs>心持っての they must be collaborators, the, the collaborators that Hikari was talking about. I heard they took out my phone. She made it her lock screen. Hi. <laughs> For some reason, Miss Miyoto smiled a little stiffly and rubbed the top of my head. So, what are you doing 
くんを探してたんですあいつなら来る途中にいたでしょうあの踏切のところそれがいなかったんですおかしいなもうみんなのところへ行っちゃったんでしょうかうんそれはないと思うよあいつすっごい思い詰めた顔して言ってたもんあんたの落とし物を探すのはあんたのためじゃないって私のためじゃない俺にとって大切なのかもしれないって言ってたなんかちょっとかっこつけた感じで僕にとって大切だからまだ探してると思うんだけどねトミエルスクラッシュとバックオフヘッドデデデデンカンチュリー just as she used to all the time back then just then my phone went off I thought it was Ikari but when I looked the screen showed the name Akito Sorami <laughs> I'm waiting at the agreed place. Why would that be the bridge? It's the good music again! This game has some really good soundtracks. That reminds me, I still need to find out where the fuck the soundtrack is in the Steam directory. Hold on. There's even like a track list. Intriguing. Anyways, uh, so. It's also put the track list in there. Uh, copy. Go in there. Go to the Sky Flu Stars. There we go. Nice. There's even like the cover in there. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's taken care of now. Uh, just, I can just up access that from the phone later on. No one's confusion it came to me. It had to be there. Miss Miedo gave my back a gentle push. Just then a taxi drove into the roundabout in front of the station. She must have called for it because it stopped where she was standing and the back door opened. The taxi sped off in the direction of Harbor Town. Koti was milling, uh, milling around her feet. I patted him as I gathered what little courage I had left. I left Koti and headed off to the agreed place. I was about to say the music better not fucking stop, but then it stopped and now I'm sad. It's beautiful. Leaning against the wall of the uh, damn walkway, I looked up at the stars. Reflected in the lake was a second night sky. The lake was calm, and the stars were mirrored with stunning clarity. It was a curious scene, having two skies in front of me. So I'd always done her scar s the star sketches here, immersed in the silence of night. What did you feel, I wonder, as I captured, uh, as she captured on paper each star as it disappeared? It was as if things both important and trivial were, trivial were falling out through a hole in someone's pocket, 
She was trying to scoop them up with the smooth surface of the lake in her tiny palms. Maybe that's what she felt. I saw inside sketches of her frustration and anxiety, her desire to record, at the very least, what she'd lost. It filled me with sadness. But the accumulation of those emotions had led up to the present. As long as we remembered what we'd lost, the day might come when, we would re when it would return to us. I heard footsteps. Looking up, I saw a small shadow along the dam's walkway. <laughs> Saya. For a mom moment, Saya looked relieved to see me, but then her expression grew tense again. <laughs> I found it. The thing that you lost. I showed her the object I carefully held on to. This is it, right? Dropped it here. Huh? It wasn't. It was here, not along the tracks. Someone must have found it and hung it up where it wouldn't get rained on. So she probably lost it on one of her sketching trips. She'd been so sure that it happened the time she got caught by the teacher on night patrol. I returned the amulet to Saya, holding it carefully in both hands. She looked at me for a while and she spoke, sounding a little melancholic. What? Yeah? So I decided not to say anything and untied the amulet's strings instead. It was open before, you could actually see that from the knot on it. She opened the pouch and looked inside. Here's, what's what, here's what was inside. From her pocket, I took out a piece of paper that was folded very small. That's it, right? The important thing you didn't want to lose? And folded it. The words were neatly written, but cute too. It was the love letter Saya gave to me. She had folded it up and put it inside the amulet's pouch. That way she always, ha always had it near her. Close to her skin, the m important thing she didn't want to lose. I'd noticed it when I had been in Saya's room. I had seen the envelope, but the letter had been gone. I was trying to understand her thoughts, so I read the letter again in the light of the stars. I know it is sudden, and I don't want to put you on the spot, but I wanted to know how you feel. That is why I am writing this letter. I have liked you for a long time now. Please go out with me. I'll be waiting in our usual spot on the bridge tomorrow. I would really like to hear your answer. It's a really late reply, huh? And that bridge is gone too. Not just the bridge, the whole village was gone. And it was asleep beneath our feet bottom of the lake, colored by the stars. Is it okay for me to reply to this letter? <laughs> Sai stopped me. <laughs> what do you mean? わたしなんだよ。私が光に一層断したりしたから。もう。ハクを好きになったりしたから。そのせいでハクは光と喧嘩して。ハクから大切なものを奪ったのは私だもん。さあ、きっと私には。ハクに恋するしかくなんてない。Tears welled up in Saya's blue and orange eyes. Looking at the sadness in her eyes, I actually found myself thinking. Wow, they're so pretty. Saya's eyes were truly like stars. Well then, what about this letter? Throw it away? Saya bit her lip and said nothing. She seemed to be on the verge of deciding that yes, throwing it away would be better. I didn't know what to do either. If it was causing Saya so much pain. If throwing it away would be easier, and doing so would, if so doing so might make everyone happier.
Our phones went off at the same time. The mood was tense and we were caught off guard. But then we took out our phones. They did it! I'm warm with those building up inside me. I felt satisfied and not anxious at all at once. The negative feelings I'd harbored were instantly flushed out by a wellspring of emotion. I grabbed Zaya by the hand. Back then, you held my hand like this. That was some kind of misunderstanding, I, I think. But right when I needed someone beside me, it was you who held my hand, Saya. Please, don't disappear on me. I don't want to lose the Saya who wrote me this letter. I don't want to lose what's important to me. <gasps> he went for it. I pulled Saya to me and kissed her. Like, he really just kind of, like, went for it, like, arm around her hip, grabbing her hand, like, Jesus. It was impulsive. I couldn't think of any other way to convey how I felt. I didn't want to lose her. I didn't want her to throw it away. This letter. The feelings she'd treasured for so long. When my lips pressed against hers, I looked right into her eyes. I love you, Sia. Her eyes, one light blue, the other orange tinged with amber, looked right back at me. I want to keep looking at you like this. Say you'll be my star and mine alone. That's my reply. Instead of nodding, Sai returned the kiss. We finally understood each other's feelings. It taken us five years and plenty of detours. In that time, our bridge had disappeared, and our village had been submerged by the dam. But still, the letter was delivered, along with the feelings it contained. On this bright night, arrived, revived by our, own, by our own hands. The restored stars, the blazing meteors, were reflected on the lake, as if the meteors were raining down on Mikazuki village on the water. Let's start over from here. Go beyond the memories. Set out for our next destination. Yosh! Tessu Jumbi Kandio! Mada event wa tsuzuku yo desu ka? Ato no koto wa taun gawa ni omakase shimashu. Ii event deshita ne. こんなに大勢の人と一緒に星を見られるなんて頑張りやすい。それよりコロナお腹空いたよ。私はおトイレ行きたい。フードコートもうやってないのかな？ねえ、なんか食べて帰ろうよ。コーナー、あんたらちん
getting up in the years, huh? Ma, demo, tanoskatta ka na? Oh, that was kind of mean. <laughs> Anyways. Otsukare sama desu, Saotome san. Do, do, otsukare sama desu, Morita san. Chi, sekkaku hito ga ii kibun de yoi ni hitatte tatte nani. Nani ka? こっちのことです。この度はご協力ありがとうございました。いえ、私こそ貴重な機会をいただきました。とても面白い催しでしたね。我々には思いもよらないような。まあ、子供の考えることなんで。あなたの教え子が始めたんでしょはい。まあ、
Sa smiled and looked at me. I returned her gaze. Your eyes are really beautiful, Saya. They're just like Albireo. Sa looked embarrassed, but she didn't turn her glistening eyes away. I already knew what she was asking for. She wanted some, some kind of proof to ease her worries. She wanted to know that it wasn't all just words. Saya? Slowly, her lips drew closer, and then Hikari showed up. Ah, it. <laughs> her leery drew apart and turned around. Hikari? Hikari? Hmm. Hikari was on the platform, striking a grandiose post for some reason. And behind her was, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Honokara's just blushing. I'm really, I've really started. Like, Honokara's really grown on me. And I think at the beginning, I was scared of her gaze. Now I think she constantly thinks she's goddamn adorable. My knee hurts. I don't know why. It was six stars club, all of them. What are you guys doing here? けど、we didn't talk about it beforehand, but we apparently had both turned off our phones. We just wanted to be alone together. <laughs> so I tried her best to come up with an excuse and failed. Sorry. <laughs> She's not fucking angry. Look at her goddamn smug face. That was a rough one. Ah, my nose hurts and my throat. In a panic, Sai chased after an extremely sulky Ikari. The rest of us just looked on and laughed. Suddenly, that silence was broken by a buzz of activity. Things were back to normal, which was a huge relief. Abandoning the idea of a romantic time alone with Saya, I switched mental gears. Well then, we got a long time ahead. How about to go get him some food? <laughs> right, I'll boil some, boil some water, and we can have a super, uh, and we can have a hot supper. Super supper, or su super hot, or something. I fucking know. Hey, aren't you still not done yet? It's time for supper. Ap, stop it! Leave my head alone! We boiled water and prepared supper. Then we took out the observation supplies we'd stored in the train. 
blankets, sleeping bags, warm clothing, and so on. We had a long night ahead of us. This miraculous meteor shower was going to last until dawn. <laughs> it was a day in late December when the night wind grew cold with the bite of winter. Ah, Saya's there. Hm. Hearing the familiar sound of Kotaro's excited barks, I looked up and saw... Konbawa. Hey, welcome. Saya entered the store carrying her usual tote bag. She looked around to make sure there weren't any other customers and that Miss Miyoto was away. Then she tottered over. <laughs> she pressed up against the counter. I pressed, I pressed up against the counter. Saya looked at me with expectant eyes, just like Kotaro when he wanted to be petted. Okay, fine. <laughs> When I petted her on the head, Sai ran away and pressed down on her hair. <laughs> what? I thought you wanted me to do that. <laughs> well, with her staring at me up close, with that look on her face to boot, I got a bit excited. After quickly fixing her hair, Saya opened her tote bag. <laughs> oh, what's this? I look delicious! Thank you so much. I have to go thank her in person sometime. <laughs> she looked up at me as if seeking confirmation. You're doing all the commuting, I guess. But it's your mom who's cooking the food. Made it sound mean on purpose, where Ponsaya puffed out up her adorable cheeks. Mm, See? What's the matter, Saya? Oh. How did you know? Of course not! I want to try your cooking too, Sai! It's gotta, it gotta be delicious. <laughs> Visibly annoyed, Sai went over to the cafe corner. I left the co counter and went after her. Don't be mad, I said I'm looking forward to your food too. Sai ignored me and took out some study materials from her tote bag. Studying for the tests again tonight? You've, really been fo you've been really focused lately, huh? <laughs> So I gave a bright smile, but it somehow felt like she wasn't smiling on the inside. We're taking that night patrol's teachers wear it seriously, huh? So I was scary when she got mad. But you know, it's not that easy to improve your rank, right? The tests were just a few days away. So I had a textbook open and was already reading when she nonchalantly replied. <laughs> right. I suppose she had confidence, conviction, or both. But I was, but I was sure Sai had good, good reason to feel that way. Also, something I forgot about uh, talking about uh, yesterday. Because yesterday, while I was at GameStop and bought the whole figurine thing, Sorry, sorry. I, I like how I just kind of like held her up, uh, 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 like, just on her head. I don't know why. But yeah, uh, anyways, um, basically what I fa failed to talk about is that like this big Hulk statue and this big and Iron Man statue. <laughs> and both of them had like face masks on. <laughs> also, they sold like a... Like a Genji sword for like 116 bucks, I think it was. So that was nice. Anyways. But I was sure Sai had a good reason to feel that way. That's okay, I have, to, I have work too. Yeah. Sai had a serious look on. 
all of a sudden. My back straight as if a teacher had called on me. Yes. あの子、プロジェクトが成功して、多分まだ浮かれっぱなしだろうから。Kari sent Hikari a text message. Got a reply. Uh, Hikari's reply would probably be something like, "Stop talking like my mother, okay?" But I could, you couldn't blame Hikari. Project Starlight had, Starlight had been a success. In addition to Harbor Town, several other areas had cooperated by turning off their lights that night. Many businesses and homes had also reduced their lighting to the extent they could. In reality, I had no idea how many people actually cooperated, but I was certain of the result. I saw the stars return to the night sky. People talked about the project online, and the whole country came to know about it. In fact, the project probably had even more supporters now. You could safely say that one of the project's aims had been achieved. Getting everyone to look at the stars. Along with the rare phenomenon of the Geminid star shower, I wondered if records of Project Starlight would remain. Hikari was sure to be, bask uh, to be basking in the project's success for some time. Just as I thought, word for word. With a loud sigh, Saya sent off another text. She was probably reiterating her point. The sad truth was, Gotti, like the rest of us, had no choice but to do battle with the term tests. I placed hand on Saya's shoulder and nodded. Mm -hmm. You'd make a great teacher. Mm -hmm. She had the persistence to handle Hikari, so the fundamentals were definitely there. However, just watch out for spot boldness. So many people, people stopped teaching because of that. <laughs> Unconvinced, Saya sent off her text to Ikari, then picked up a mechanical pencil. Not wanting to disturb her, I went back to work. Burning with that determination, Saya studied for the tests with uncommon focus. Several days passed. It was the day after the term test had ended. Tests had ended. Ah! Choo choo. Ah, it's delicious. Don't, you're imagining things. <laughs> Sai and I were inside the train at the abandoned station. We were free from the tests, but I lived with others, and Sai's mom was, mom was at home today, so this was the only place where we could be alone. Anyway, I wanted to check on the place. Wild animals sometimes got inside the train. <laughs> oh boy, like he's just like, he's just waltzing up with a, with a fucking hunting rifle. Okay, we got, uh, okay, the, the, the... I don't know why I just sat, like, zoned out there. The train is clear. We can go in. I was eating the boxed lunch that Saya made for me. <laughs> it's delicious, I swear. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh. Saya, let me try some of her egg roll. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, really, it's nice and fluffy. <laughs> You don't have to pay so much attention to, the little, to these little things. Taking cover behind a smile, I asked for another bite. Your egg rolls are sweet. Ow. Oh. Oh, this is delicious too! So I pouted while I laughed, trying to cover my tracks. Sa's mom was a great cook, so I couldn't help comparing, but for a be beginner, Sa's cooking. Sa's cooking really good. Sa's cooking was really good, I think would be better there. Besides, however, I tasted, so I made it just for me, so of course I was happy to try it. 
Yep, sorry. While preparing for Project Starlight, I'd exchanged so many shifts with Miss Miharu. Of course, that also meant I wasn't getting paid, so now I had to work extra hard. Even though we didn't have classes, I wouldn't be able to set aside much time for going out with Saya. Same thing I've been doing. I'll buy something from the store. If I asked, she'd probably make lunch for me, but I didn't want to be so needy. Saya raised her hand energetically. Yes, Ms. Amanogawa? Are you okay with that? So I gave me two thumbs up. <laughs> like, all I can imagine is it's just like... No, it's too much to ask. Sai grinned just like a child seeking praise. As she declared before the term tests, she had, in fact, moved up the ranks. She used to be around number 30, but this time she wasn't a top 10. Her progress, progress was incredible. Saya, you're amazing. <laughs> I mean, they will probably still complain, but you know. She said it in a cute way, but I knew that deep down, part of her power came from resentment. I had to remember not to make Saya angry. Ever. After that, we savored and fed each other items from Saya's handmade lunchbox number one. I drank the last of the bottle of tea and sighed contentedly. <sighs> Thanks for that delicious food. <laughs> and now? After putting away the lunch boxes, we had nothing to do. Shall we clean up the drink car? Or else we could, uh... So I turned red and looked away, even as she moved closer. What on earth do you mean, sir? Explain yourself more clearly. <laughs> Is it because you felt lonely that you want to get close to me? So I puffed her cheeks out and looked up at me. No, I so I moved away from me in an attempt to start cleaning. I'm kidding, cleaning is a terrible idea. So I stared right at me. Her eyes were scary. Um, we just stayed, so I guess we could take a bath. I was just thinking out loud, but I instantly realized it was the wrong thing to say. Uh, that was a joke too! I'm sorry, Sai, don't get angry. Sure! <laughs> what? I said sure. Why? Huh? Uh, Just like that, Sal was already out of the train. Seriously? I hurriedly chased after her. <sighs> there we go, it's safe. I'll just like move this over here. <laughs> While soaking in the hot bath, Sai was having fun playing with the water. There goes the safety. Alright, I'll just be absolutely sure and just do that. That's the easiest. It's great to get into the outdoor bath while the sun's still up. You know what, actually, fuck it. Fuck it, this isn't as bad as the Ditsy Demons. With my chin just above the water, I looked in science direction. 
It was the lighter, so I could see Saya's wet body clearly. Nothing. I looked away. I quickly looked away. For some reason, Saya sounded a little happy, even as she splashed water at me. I never thought we'd actually take an outdoor bath together. With a slight, anything on the water was clearly visible, so she was sitting some distance away. But if I was reading the situation right, perhaps I wouldn't mind being seen after all. Hey, Saya. Mind if I join you? You know, I didn't get to see you but with the tests and all, and I really missed you. I want to get close to you, like like this. Uh. I knew it! Saya the closet monster was waiting for something sexy to happen! I, I wasn't thinking anything! That's just so happy you said yes! Thinking about it because uh, think like considering her like past insecurities, him calling her closet monster is extremely insensitive. But <laughs> uh. I don't see anything! Fine, I'll face that way. I moved towards side with my back to her. Uh, she came closer too. I was sad I wouldn't get to see her. Being near her comforted me as I savored the warmth of the bath. Cold wind blew now and then. It felt good on my warm skin. So I whispered in my ear as she came close. Trip, huh? That'd be nice. I wanna go somewhere, just the two of us. Such as? That sounds great. Let's go someday. But Saya, there's something naughty about the phrase secret trip. I'd spot the moment and made Saya angry again. Or so I thought, but I was wrong. She must have been imagining our secret hot spring trip. Closet months. <laughs> that, 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 that's all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> like he just, he's just like, he just like stands up. I am, and I, st and I stand up to it. And I own up to it. I mean, I mean, I, I fucked up. Mm, comedy isn't comedy isn't easy. Comedy is not easy. <laughs> yes, I have a dirty mind, and I really, really want to turn around and look at you. <laughs> I accidentally spoke my mind as I froze up. At that point, I just had to go all out. I want to look. I really want to look. I want to look at how nature made you. You know, it's fine if you want to look at your naked girlfriend. The phrasing I want to look at you how I look at how nature made you made it makes it sound so indescribable uh, indescribably creepy. <laughs> A shadow, the true self. <laughs> but you actually do want me to turn around, don't you? Let's be honest, my closet monster. But you had, you must be thinking, oh, I won't mind if it's Aki who's looking right. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in here with me. Still had my break, my back to Saya, but I imagined her blushing in the face with my flawless reasoning. Well, well! <sighs> Turning around, okay? Turning around uh, now? Three, two, one. Saya. There was a splash, splash and when I turned around, Saya was floating gently in the hot water. Saya! <sighs> I rushed to say Saya was bright red from the heat. <sighs> Saya, 
So I was slumped in her seat and well, I was fanning her gently. Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> after saving Zaya from uh, after saving Zaya from passing out from heat exhaustion and the hot spring, I somehow managed to get her back here to rest. I was so surprised, you just suddenly fainted. <laughs> Too much stim stimulation for your delicate sensibilities, huh? What's wrong? Still feeling dizzy? Oops. And what? I was busy saving you, I didn't see anything. Yeah, really. That was so much, so much steam, too. Sai's gaze was searching for some. To be told, I had seen her in the basic way that you see something, but I had been more focused on saving her than anything else. If only it had been different. You see through everything, don't you? I guess I can't hide anything from a childhood friend. Sai's bright red lips thinned in disapproval, but her expression said otherwise. If that's the case, uh, then how about you show me, showing me now? How about showing me now? I was going to have to wait a bit longer for my chance. Is <laughs> Christ, he's a horn dog in this one. <laughs> Kotaro had noticed us approaching the store, so I went over and started petting him. I smiled at how affectionate Sai was with Kotaro, and then the automatic door slid open. Doing her lecture, Smiru had removed her, her apron and thrust it at me. I still have another ten minutes, you know. As Miero stretched, uh, stretched her neck and shoulders. I don't think I should eat. You're not exactly that age yet. Ah, it's hard, it's As Miss Miero continued bemoaning life in general, Sai gave her a disappointed look. What is that look? This teacher was very beautiful. あんたも言うようになったじゃないの。彼氏ができたからって調子に乗るんじゃないわよ。Miss uh, Miru pinched Sai's nose. Pinch her nose. Let's make a nose pinching triangle. Hold on. Miss Miru, please stop. Sai's adorable and well-formed nose will be... <laughs> Holding the bridge of her nose, Sai protect, uh, pro protested, but Miss Miru wasn't listening to anyone. It wasn't listening anymore, I mean. Miss Miura had brought more games for, uh, had borrowed more games from Takeichi apparently and was spending most of her days on them. <laughs> She's been through a lot. I patted Sai on the shoulder to console her. Sai was looking at her phone welcome screen. Really, you're using that photo? I was not on her welcome screen. I thought of telling her to use a photo of Kotaro, at least, but her choice was endearing. <laughs> Take care, and thanks for lunch. It was delicious, honestly. <laughs> she seemed determined to improve on the outcome of today's taste test. Bye-bye, <laughs> Akku! 
See ya. Oh, okay, I can. I kind of forgot. As I watched Sai trot off, I mumbled to myself, "Can you get a wife, eh?" Got a nice ring to it, didn't I? As soon as winter break started, things got a little real busy. Really busy. First, right after the term tests, we had a Starlight Star uh, Project Starlight after party. Everyone was there to celebrate the project's success and have fun. Even the hardships we endured, or Sai's poorly timed running away from home, all of this became pleasant memories in hindsight. In the middle of that after party, Honoka made a suggestion. Project Starlight was successfully completed. ですが、それで終わってはいけないと思います。今回の成功はサヤさんがつけていた星空のスケッチによるところが大きかった。Sweater twins. I know they're not quite twins, but you know they're still going for they're still going for the same fashion sense and both of them look extremely adorable in their sweaters. And I really like the sweaters. That's all I need to that that reminds me I still need to Look how fine days is coming along. I got fine days. It apparently is not yet out, I think. Or is it out? Hold on. Translations, official website. Okay, so, uh, there still hasn't been any news. It's still not there yet. And that's good to know, I guess. Anyways, uh... これを教訓に、我々も記録を残していくというのは、いかがでしょう。星の中の夜空の観測記録を、ムツラ星の会の活動として、後輩たちへ受け継いでいけたらと思います。The suggestion was unanimously approved, and we are going to discuss details like methods and formats at the next meeting. With our own hands, we were going to record Hoshinaka's, the Hoshinonaka Night Sky. I thought it was a fitting enterprise for the Six star Stars Club. After the, after the party, I was able to relax for a few days, but then the new uh, Year's Eve rolled, ar rolled around. New Year's Eve was the only day of the year when the stop and buy delay oh, stayed open late, so I was incredibly busy. And though the store was closed for the first three days of the year, I was still kinda busy. Takeichi came over and we visited the temple. As usual, Saya had to help out at home, so I didn't get to see her. Which brings us to the end of the new year period, January 4th. Hi, happy new year. Yeah, let's. So I bowed politely. We certainly will. I bowed in return. This was my first time seeing Hikari and Sai in the new year. After exchanging New Year's greetings, Hikari noticed someone reading comics in the cafe corner. Yo, Takeja! Akiyome! あんた、貴重な冬休みをこんなとこで漫画読んで過ごしてんの I know, I've been eating it every day. 
Saya, my comedic wife, had brought me a box lunch every day of winter break, just like she said she would. But that was last year. Since the start of the new year, Saya had been busy helping out at home, and I was missing her food already. Well, Sai panicked that this disclosure, Hikari sat down next to Takichi and, sa uh, and sighed theatrically. <laughs> like he's just like, not even gonna look look up from his mind. He's just like, what are you talking about? Single, I'm in a relationship. What? <laughs> like, Hikari's like, just like, what? I'm in a relationship. With, with who? Naruwe? Since when? Hikari was on face, but when she looked around and realized she was the odd one out, her jaw dropped. So I looked very much at ease as she went over to join Ikari. At the mention of her running away, Saya's expression crumbled. Takichi hadn't realized Saya had been hiding in Korona's room, apparently. Saya bowed deeply in apology. Hikari smiled happily. That single exchange had been enough to fix her mood. Well, actually, I felt better too. That's on you. A rather flustered Miss Miharu made her entrance. Looking like she had a hangover, she really helped. She helped herself to the store's coffee without any regard for her former students. Miss Miharu, this coffee isn't free, you know. Miss Miyaru gave a cynical smile. She's even more jaded than usual today. レベル上げが面倒でさ。村人と会話してても全然話進まないし、お金もたまんないし。あんたRPG向いてないよ。やめちまえ。Sai looked a little dismayed again. Noticing Sai's gaze, Miss Miyoto made a somewhat forced resolution. The next year just started! Sipping her coffee, Miss Miyoto tried to escape from Sai's forlorn eyes. ねえ。ねえ。竹も俺は暇つぶしに来ただけっす。やだってカミキットボン、ヒットロンウィズム。先生は見に行かないんですか?自分ギザ流星群。うーん、行くわよ。She <笑> We heard the sound of a car horn outside. There was a large four-wheel drive vehicle in front of the store. <sighs> Miss Miru finished the cup of coffee in one gulp and crumpled up the paper cup. <laughs> well, 
Muttering to herself, Ms. Miyare exited the store. どうも、お待たせしました。こんばんは、さおとめさん。さおとめさん。あなたその格好で行くつもりですかうん。何かあなたという人は、これから山へ行くんですよ。着替えてきなさい。はっ、はい。何かすごくいたたまれなくなるから
れはびっくりしたよ様子見に戻ってきたらうちゅってしてるんだもん私初めてだよ誰かがチューしてるの生で見たのううんいろいろごめん<笑>でもさそのさやの勇気勢いだけの行動が今に繋がってるんじゃない勢いだけの行動でした That moment I didn't think that things would go well with Aki after kissing him like that Really had been just an impulse あれから一年かいろんなことがあったねどうしたのそんなかまってほしいけど素直に言えない子猫みたいな顔してどんな顔よそれこんな顔だうりゃーいやーほっぺ引っ張らないでもしかしてまだ気にしてるのまあそりゃそうか<笑>でもある意味これで元通りじゃん私たち3人元の仲良しでもってさやの手紙を読んだアキトがあんたとお付き合いを始めたかけ違えてたボタンをやっと元に戻せたってわけうん<笑>自信持ちなよ取り戻してくれたんでしょあいつが。<laughs> That's right. Aki found them for me. Those important feelings that I had almost lost. So, I don't know. So, I don't know. I don't know. I d o Her supple breasts were pressed against mine. It felt good, but I was a bit jealous,、uh, envious. k a r i stepped away from me and leaned over the handrail, her eyes on the lake. She pointed at the pitch black lake. The lake was as calm as it had been the other night, but the starlit sky was still beautifully reflected. Against the bright night reflected on the lake, the meteors continued to fall. Surely we would never forget that scene. Even for more, he got it clung to the handrails and kept staring at the lake's surface. <laughs> the quadrant is maybe one of the three big meteor showers, but it wouldn't be easy to get enough meteors for a reflected show. At that moment. Hey! Aki walked along the dam towards us with a big rucksack on his back. What are you doing, guys? What are you doing over here? Even though Aki was here, Hikari was still staring at the lake. Her eyes flickering with curiosity reminded me of a child, sort of like Aki. But the meteors refused to show, and for a while, the three of us were just staring blankly at the darkness of the lake. Reaching the end of her attention span, Hikari made an abrupt remark. It doesn't register for me, though. That was Aki's response. Several years had passed since our village was submerged by the dam. Somewhere along the way, we got used to the new scenery and forgot that it wasn't always like this. But it was different from Ikari. She was, all, she was away from Mikazuki at the time, so it must have been a drama dramatic change. <laughs> The lake was pitch black and utterly empty. But if you looked closely, closer, you could 
Better well, make out the moonlit outlines of the buildings in the submerged village. Seeing those ga ghostly shapes, I whispered softly. We had lost many things, but some things remained. And some things could be regained. We worried that losing the form of something meant it no longer existed. But most of the truly important things didn't have a form. They were always there, as sure as the universe's first light was still shooting across space. Just waiting to be mo noticed by someone, someday. That was a bright one. Just like a vision born from our memories. A bright star soared through the night sky, illuminating the, illuminating the underwater village. Time passed, the city was going to change, and we would change too. It was saddening, but it also meant that change was possible. The closest one would be the Lyriads. But for observation, it's gotta be the, be the Perseids. Kani laughed at how much thought we were giving to this. Uh, that's in November? Such a long way away. Kani shook her head. Aki and I looked at each other, her eyes wide as the moon. The Leonid Meteor Shower! The Leonid Meteor Shower brought countless shooting stars to the night sky of tw uh, in 21, uh, tw 2001. The next time we, they would be visible in Japan was set to be 2000, uh, 2034. With that, it was decided. We wasted no time in making a wish on the next meteor that flashed across the lake. Oh god, I want you, really want you guys to just look at the two of them just as a teasing. Oh, don't forget to bring your kids then. <laughs> there were many things we had lost. But the me memories would last. Forever, as long as we didn't forget. Jesus Christ, turn it down. Damn thing down. やっぱり行きたくない。ね、お母さん。お願いだから、わがまま言わないでさやちゃん。やだ。絶対からかわれるもん。さや。ダメよ。そんなのかけて学校行ったら先生に叱られるわ。うん。きっと新しいお友達でき
いい加減にしなさい。Like, who is this? It's annoying! Hold on! Saya, Ama no Gawa, Mom, Voice. A、uh, sky full of stars. Introducing Sam Anogawa on Steam? What? Okay, that's nice and all, but. Can you tell me who the fucking voice actress is for her mom? Oh! Wow, Sky Full of Stars is actually like 8 euro right now. This really is pissing me off right now. V and database. Maybe I can, like. Come on, show me something. More. That's just vocals. Being shown, it's annoying. <laughs> it's starting to piss me off a little bit. Perhaps the Stella Focus got it. は不思議だ最初はただの夜空にたくさんある光る点くらいに思ってたどれも同じようなものでせいぜい明るいか暗いか色が少し赤っぽいか白っぽいかその程度の違い初めて天体望遠鏡で見た時は綺麗な光だと思った宝石やアクセサリーみたいでうっとりしたのを覚えてるけれどいくつかの天体を観測していくうちに見え方が少しずつ変わってきた「イオーがガニメデに隠れてる」望遠鏡を覗きながら光が言う「これがガリレオ衛星の相互色?」Looks like it. 木星の周囲を回っている衛星のうちガリレオ・ガリレイが発見した4つの衛星をガリレオ衛星という。That just reminds me of that one time Geostellar from Mega Man Star Force called Luna Plus a satellite. If you don't have no idea what the fuck that means, go play Mega Man Star Force. The Star Force games are actually really fun to play. You should actually try them.、They're、like, I have had a blast when I played them as a kid. 
say as a kid, but it's actually not been not that long ago. I don't fucking remember when I did play it now. I remember being somewhat angry that the uh, third one wasn't available in German. So I kind of hacked myself. I like got like a hacked third game. And I downloaded that one illegally. <laughs> Anyways. Uh... Galileo is a very big deal. It's 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 a 天体望遠鏡で覗いた向こう、遥か虚空を隔てた先に見えるあの点は、星なんだ。そこには空間があって、木星という巨大な惑星が浮かんでいて、その周りを衛星が回っている。地球の周りを月が回っているように。相互色の観測は、それを実感として教えてくれている。あそこで起こっていることは日食や月食と同じ。その証拠にガリレオ衛星は木星に影を落とすことがある。その時影の中では。日食が起こっているんだという実感が強まる虚空の闇に紛れもない超巨大物体が浮かんでいる本当はそれは地味なんかじゃないとんでもなく壮大な風景なんだ私は夜空を仰ぎ見る今こうして見えている光が全部そう星や星雲星団、水星や流星、何らかの天体なんだ。小さな点に見えるけど、本当は地球よりも大きな、中には太陽よりも大きな天体たち。そう思うと、なんだか途方もなくて、圧倒的で、私の小さな体じゃ、とても受け止めきれない事実に怖くなる。うん、どうしたの、さやプルプル震えながらしがみついてきてちょっと怖くなっただけよしよし怖がらなくていいよあたしたちがついてるよテンモンだって人に言うとよく「星が好きなの?」って聞かれるどことなく意外そうにきっと天文部が何をする部活かみんな知らなくてそれで余計に不思議に思うんだろうそんな時私は返事に困ってしまう自分でもよく分かってないから星が好きなのかどうかだから結局適当にはぐらかすことになるんだけどでもこれだけは言える星と出会って私の人生は大きく変わったねえさやはどうして先生になりたいのうんこれもまた少し困る質問だかけがえのない思い出となった子供時代の担任の先生に憧れているせいもあるでもそれだけじゃないもっと自発的な理由を言うならやっぱり星のおかげなんだろうガリレオ衛星の相互色を惑星観測ノートに書き記した時に触れた不思議その不思議を実感として解き明かした瞬間新しい自分と出会えたような気がしてそれを誰かに教えたいそう思った<笑>みんな静かにお兄さんとお姉さんの言うことをよく聞いて Is this adult Saya? Haha, I got a mosquito. <laughs> I think it was a mosquito at least. 
よく聞いてもっと静かにって私の話をまず聞きなさい<笑>あの、あ、あ、今日はスニッカーがめ<笑><笑> Only one person came to mind. Well done, Princess! But Hoshino died. She was a school that valued independence very highly. Hearing Aki's stifled laugh made me smile. Comet Girl was the moniker of Hikari Hikoboshi, who wasn't here today. In fact, I hadn't seen her for a long time. We had our separate ways after high school, and we only met up a few times a year, in addition to the occasional text conversation. She was now working at a railroad company. Influenced by her father, Hikari had liked to train since she was a child, and Now I was working hard to become a train driver one day. When I texted her about today's events, she said she was interested but unable to come because of work. The legends of Comet Girl lives on to the lives on too, huh? I'll have to tell her about that. That's true. She hasn't changed at all, Lady Cardi. Even in 2034, she's still the same. <laughs> The three of us had made a promise to watch this Leonid star shower together. It was still a long ways off, but 
Sometimes you slip by in seconds. Oi, <laughs> Omae! You talking to me? Saya sensei ni nare nare shiku suru na yo na. Why not? I can do whatever I want. Kotte jo ne yo. Sensei wa na. Sensei wa. Mata anta Saya sensei ni kamatte morao to shite ru nda. Chigao yai. Demo zanen deshita. Sensei no hidari te no kusuru yubi o mite minasai. Ah. Ha? Yubi wa ga mie nai no? Kore wa ne. 婚約指輪って言って、先生にフィアンセがいるってことなのよ。嘘だ。本当なの先生。ええー、っと、本当かな。You think? どこのドイツだよ。俺、そいつに決闘申し込む。<笑>ダメよ決闘なんて危ないから。それにその人、目の前にいるかななんて。Aki folded his arms with a smug look on his face. Like a child in an, in an adult's clothing. But my students didn't really think that this old man could be the one, apparently, and just started chattering about other things. Having your fiance chance to a duel? <laughs> Being one of the children of stuff, huh? <laughs> During college, Aki and I were apart and only saw each other once a month. After we gra graduated, Aki came back and found a job, and I started teaching at a local school. Every weekend, I went over to his place and cooked for him. Kayoizuma wa kenzai da mon ne. Long live the commuter wife. <laughs> I wonder who who who's the one uh, that's got that got thrown off the cliff, huh? Nan de mo nai. The other day, Aki proposed to me. He presented me this ring, saying that although his career had just started, he wanted to get married. Once he was able to support us, of course I accepted his proposal, and that's why this ring was on the fourth finger of my left hand. Fine, I guess I'll come help out. As former member of the Six Stars Club and as my fiance, Aki came to help with tonight's observation. He got a fire going on the portable stove and placed a pot on it. After a while, small popping sounds could be heard from the pot. Lured by that sound and a buttery fragrance, the children gathered around Aki. Ojisan, so it's what? It's tada! Ah, popcorn! Freshly made, huh? The children surrounded Aki and eagerly tried to get their popcorn first. Whoops! The girls stood apart from the popcorn ring. Popcorn is not bad. She was a recent transfer student. She seemed quite introverted and had some trouble getting used to the class. I wanted to do something for her to help her. I motioned for her to come over to the telescope. She shook her head. あそこにとても明るい星があるのはわかるかしら、うん、あれはね夜空で一番明るい星シリウスよシリウスそれでその上の方にある赤い星がベテルギウスあの星はあそこにああして見えているけど実はもうないかもしれない星なの。Dominating kids, shy kids, outgoing but actually introverted kids, quiet kids with active minds, diligent kids, mischievous kids, mature kids. There really were all kinds of students in a single class, and dealing with them all was tough. But you seem to be opening up to me. Her head tilted in puzzlement, probably because of my cryptic description of the star that looked like a single star. I giggled and moved the telescope. First, 
さっき話したシリウスから。Look for the star in the telescope's view. あった。さあ、覗いてごらんなさい。Have you heard the soundtrack before? Because I don't remember hearing the soundtrack before. And I, if I heard it before, I would have noticed it because I liked it. Like, like, because I like it already. どうすごくきれいでしょそれが先生の一番好きな星よ不思議な色をしてる先生の瞳みたいな星そんな星があるの私も見てみたいお俺も Suddenly everyone was gathered around the telescope <笑>はいはい順番よちゃんと並びましょうねねえそんなにきれいなのうんすごく綺麗だった。先生の一番好きな星なんだって。Looking at them peek through the telescope one by one, I felt a real sense of happiness. The eyes shone with curiosity, just as Aki and Hikari's had when we were children. あの星たちは、あなたや私たちが生まれるよりずっと昔の光。何百年、何千年、何万年も前の。星の姿。私たちは今ここにいながら過去を見ているのだ。だから、みんな、見上げてごらん。夜空の星を。We got the title! We got the title! Where's the ding sound? Roll credits! Come on! That, that's it, mother ended?、Really? あなたたちには、oh. あの星たちが。どんな風に見える Come on, he could have ended it right there. I mean, I already know that Saya's route is going to be my favorite route just because they made they, they, the thing I like. They, they made it the, the epilogue into like the future. I love that. I absolutely adore that. <laughs> I know why, why, I, why I did that just now. 星座のようにつなぎ合わせたらほらまるで昨日のことのように蘇ってくる大切な記憶の数々先生この星にも名前はあるの大犬座145番星という星よでもこうも呼ばれているわ思い出のかけらをつなぎ合わせる。始まりの星 The first star that connected all the pieces of my memories. 冬の春ビデオ I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. That was nice. That was, that was really nice. I, I, I enjoyed that. That was really nice. I liked it. I do believe that, that like, in my. Like, from all the routes we've seen, this is currently the head. Like, the canon, in my opinion. <laughs> Anyways, uh. Yeah! Uh. Let's see if that actually is a new one. It isn't. I'm a fucking retard, apparently. Anyway, Stargazer. And, anyways, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one! And tomorrow we'll be starting with the Hikari route. So, you guys look forward to that, and see you guys next time. Hasta la bye bye. <laughs>